Hello English 10. Welcome to our second of four sessions on A Midsummer Night's Dream. In our first session, you got a basic introduction to the situation that is the play. Theseus and Hippolyta are planning to get married in a few days. They're getting that restlessness you get before your wedding. And as they are bored, they ask that a play be presented. And so you met some common laborers who are planning to present their play. And you met the main character, Bottom, who thinks he can play every single part in the play. I think you've probably all known someone like that who thinks they can do everything and probably doesn't really know what they're talking about. Um, you also discovered that in Athens, there's a father named Aegeus who wants his daughter to marry, like, to, wants his daughter to marry Demetrius. The only problem is, Hermia, his daughter, is in love with Lysander. And she's supposed to marry Demetrius. And unfortunately for everyone, Helena is, is in love with Demetrius, who's supposed to marry Lys who's supposed to marry Hermia, who's supposed to marry Lysan who wants to marry Lysander. So it's a little complicated. Um, but everyone is in love, and Lysander and Hermia are going to run away out of the city of Athens, where her father cannot tell her who she's supposed to marry, and get married themselves. Um, Helena, trying to get Demetrius' affection, is going to go after everyone in the woods. Um, Demetrius going after Hermia, Helena going, Helena going after Demetrius. Um, so in the second act of the play, the whole situation is taken into the woods, away from the law and order of Athens. And in the woods, there is a realm of fairies. And in this part of the play, you meet Oberon and Titania, who are the fairy king and queen, who are having their own conflict themselves. And their, their, their conflict over an Indian boy gets resolved by a mischievous sprite named Puck. And in this section of the play, you'll see kind of an April Fool's Day joke that Puck decides to play on uh, Titania, and, um, hip, uh, Titania and Oberon. Um, mainly Titania, um, but it involves Lysander and Demetrius and Helena and Hermia. So the two different settings kind of get mixed up. Uh, so you'll begin to, in session two with reading Act Two. As before, you have a choice of reading two different versions. You can read the original version or you can read the No Fear Shakespeare version of the play that puts the modern and the original side by side. Um, again, I'd encourage you to get an audio recording if that's something that you find would be helpful to you. Your first assignment for this part of it is the literary journal. Same exact options as last week. You can do quotations. You can do uh, predictions and outcomes. You can do a critical commentary, uh, a summary and an image if you're artistically inclined, a schematic analysis. This is like a map or a chart that would help you keep track of what's going on and some key phrases there, or some combination of those. So that's your first assignment for the week, and you will submit that on this page here. And Nick has already done a great job of submitting his. Thank you, Nick. Um, the second assignment you have is a literary response involving a scavenger hunt. You're to go looking for these different literary devices that are used in the play. A couplet is a pair of rhyming lines, and you can click on this link for more. Alliteration is the beginning of uh, where several words begin with the same sound. Uh, dramatic irony, sometimes we as the audience know something that the characters do not know, and that creates an interesting tension. That's dramatic irony. A pun, using words in a very punny way, humorous way. And a metaphor where you're comparing two things. I think most of you are familiar with this. So you're going to find quotations that are examples of these uh, different literary devices. That's your second assignment for th this part of the play, this part of the course, and this part of the play. And then your third uh, third assignment for the week is to respond on the discussion board with something interesting from the second part of the play, from the second act of the play. Um, different topics that might be interesting to you and a full response to at least one other student to get full points on that. And that will take you through the week. If you want to get a jump start on next week, the Act 3, you're certainly welcome to. Um, but at this point, all you have to do is Act 2. Uh, just a reminder, if you haven't completed Acuity already, please make sure that you complete Acuity and get that done today or tomorrow. Um, the 24th, I think, is the last possible date that the district can turn those in. And <clears throat> as always, if there are questions, let me know. We are coming very quickly toward the end of the semester and lots of things need to get finalized. So please don't hesitate to give me a call or send me a text or an email 
and I will work with you on getting things resolved. Have a great week and enjoy this nice weather.